Let's move on. We have Bob Sofsky from Braveheart Brewing. Come on up, Bob. Where is Bob? Oh, there he is. Here you go. Hello, I'm uh, Bob Sofsky. I'm a proud Air Force veteran and founder of Braveheart Brewing. And I'd like to talk to you today a little bit more about who and what we are uh, versus the specifics of our products. About two years ago, I had a vision to uh, create a vehicle, a fundraising vehicle, if you will, to support our veterans and our military families. And uh, in doing so, we had to find the right product to attach our fantastic message to. And we found that the right product was craft beer. And so uh, with that, we launched about a year ago, and uh, we found uh, four uh, tremendous uh, nonprofit organizations nationally recognized that we attached our beer to. They are the face of Braveheart Brewing, and uh, our missions or their mission statements are on our cans, uh, and our, our beer has the quality that when uh, someone picks up a Braveheart beer because they love our messaging, they're going to love our beer equally as well. Uh, we've had a tremendous response and, uh, from the uh, general, uh, from the craft beer industry, from retail, from theme parks, uh, from certainly from our military community, and from our consumers all over the country. Within this short year that we've launched, we're proud to say that we're now in three states, uh, we are in uh, retail uh, in California and in Central Oregon, and we just launched in California. We expect to launch in Utah. And, um, I, you know, I, my minute, well, it's over with. So thank you for the short, sir. <laughs> I mean, the short, sir. Great job. Thank you. Uh, Mission-based brands, uh, there's always this challenge of what do I lead with, the brand or the mission? Carmen, I mean, in terms of Braveheart, what do you think they're doing right? What do you think they could improve upon? I love, first of all, thank you for, for your work and, and your service. Um, I think that the mission and connection to giving back is um, very important. It's something that sets breweries apart today. I wonder, though, if um, the mission is sort of clouding the product. And I'm also curious about why craft beer, craft beer was chosen as the sort of product vehicle to, um, to help them achieve their mission. Marty, uh, your thoughts on Braveheart Brewing and the pitch that Bob gave? Same thing, it's a great cause, and a lot of people can get behind it. There's great opportunity for cross-promotions, especially at the chain level. It's really hard to distinguish um, that this is not just one cause. There's actually multiple causes under Braveheart for multiple vet groups, and that does get lost sometimes in the message, and he has such a small billboard to work with on that can label. So I think somehow it can be cleaned up, but he's on the right track. Tom, I think you had a couple options in terms of the beer that uh, Braveheart brought to the conference. Um, as Marty mentioned before, beer is really, the liquid is really, really important, even more so than the brand in most cases. You know, what's your take on the beer itself? I mean, I think the overall aspiration here is admirable, um, but I think this is more mission focused than beer focused for me. Um, and the question I would ask is, are they brewing the right beer for the greater um, opportunity to, to reach a larger audience and actually amplify that message and that charitable opportunity? So are you saying they should be brewing different styles? Potentially. I mean, there's an IPA and then there's a, an, an Imperial Red. And the first question I had is, are those the right beers to actually capture market share and um, breadth of, uh, of consumers' attention to really kind of give back in the broadest way possible? And I'm, I'm not certain that th those are the right beers. Okay. All right, moving on.